Morning guys, we're back here and we are doing another vlog. This is vlog number 22 on the 10th of July. Um, it is actually 8.05 this morning. Um, not feeling that great this morning, so I'm going to work from the house. Uh, I, I was feeling pretty sick yesterday. I uh, stayed like feverish, very achy, which is like, I hope I'm not getting the flu. But uh, yeah, and then in addition, I've messed up my left ankle. I don't know if it was from running the other day at the gym or what, but I'm walking with like a limp. And then on my right foot, where I walked and got mail yesterday, um, I cut up the bottom of my foot and it also is impairing my walking. Uh, so yeah, that was my yesterday, was pretty much being sick and hurting myself. So not that exciting, but I can work from home, so it's not too big of a deal, so hopefully by tomorrow, I'll feel pretty good. Uh, but actually, I didn't really do much because I wasn't feeling good. I tried to clean up the house a little bit. I cooked dinner, but besides that, I, that was about it. But I hope everyone else is doing good. Oh, so far, I'm really late today. I got to get, get moving. But I don't have to drive to Chapel Hill, so that's a positive. And I'll probably hang out at the house, see if they get any jobs. I had actually had a project yesterday. It was pretty small, but um, it was still a project nonetheless. So worked on that yesterday and, you know, talk to my mom on the phone, as you should do. Call your parents eventually, especially if you're moved out and, I don't know, six hours away like I am. It makes a big difference. And me and my wife are trying to decide when we're going to go back up to Western North Carolina to go see everyone and how, since my family is divorced so that's two stops gotta go see my mom and my dad and then we have to go see her family and her work does not want to give her days off so uh we, to make the time for that it's very complicated so we'll see him uh what else exciting is happening hey, you doing, you guys? not very weak yet i haven't showered as you can tell this is the shirt i was wearing yesterday uh, i just slept in it and i need to take a shower since I'm not going anywhere, it makes it a little easier. So I'll get online, get everything ready for work, and then go grab a shower, and then come back, as long as there's no projects to do immediately this morning, which, if it's like any other day I've been working, there won't be. Uh, but let's see. Uh, me and my wife started looking at like houses. Well, looking at what we like in houses. Let me tr change that a little bit. Um, we're trying to figure out what kind of things we want in a house when we start to look. We're in the process of starting to save up some money for down payments and all that kind of stuff. Man. So that's kind of what we've been looking at and trying to figure out what area and you know, all that kind of jazz, which I need to figure out a way how we're going to do it. We, we're looking with uh, the same app we use to find our apartment, which is Trulia. But there's like things I don't like about the app, so I don't know if it's the right one. Computer, what do you want? Stop making noises. Um, so we don't know yet. There was two that we really like. What are you doing? I don't care that my Gmail account is out of date. Um, there was two that we really liked. Had a lot of bedrooms. The price wasn't crazy. It had some very interesting features. So, but it won't be until probably next year until we even really get into like avidly looking. Clean up the desk. But I'm gonna get ready for work. Do some work around the house. I need to clean out. I want to do a big reset on my computer. Like move everything I use onto my hard drive and reset. Problem is I'm nervous that when I do that, I'll lose some stuff that I'm not thinking about. Because like stuff like Steam and Epic and all that stuff I can get back. I can get all my Adobe programs back pretty simply. But um, when looking at other things like... I don't know. Uh, Creo. I have Creo 3 on here instead of Creo 5. And I don't know if I can get Creo 5 again because I'm not a student currently. So I'm using Creo 3 in place. I think I have Creo 5 on my laptop. I wonder if, I'll have to see if it still works. Worst case scenario, I can move the files over to this one. And I still have my, my student email, so maybe I could download it still. Those are things I gotta decide before I actually make the reset. But I'm wondering if it would help. One, clean off a lot of stuff I'm not using. There's a lot of files and like programs and garbage on the computer from having it since 2014. I've had it for five years. 
So a good, I think, like full reset would get rid of a lot of stuff that just isn't used. And then I can put the things I use on a daily basis back on there and hopefully maybe it'll help my CPU, it'll help my render speed, it'll clip a lot of space because my SSD is getting really full. Um, mostly because when files download on my computer, they, for whatever freaking reason, want to download on my SSD first, which has a lot less space than my hard drive. And I understand it makes using stuff faster, but I am not need speed. It's just the hard drive's right next to it. It's a little slower, but my OS is on my SSD, which matters a lot more. But anyway, let's go do it for today, guys. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, and you want to hit that like button, helps me a lot. Let's me know you're enjoying. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.